Well, great morning, everyone. I just went back. I just heard that uh, they, King Charles, they found out he's got cancer, a, a form of cancer. Now, they haven't disclosed what type of cancer he has, but uh, he went in for prostate uh, to fix prostate problem, and they found cancer. Now, they said it's not prostate cancer, but there is a type of cancer. And so um, he has gone to London, and he's called William. William is there. I guess William's the next in line. So I went back, and I looked at a reading that I did when King Charles had just taken the throne. And I said in that reading, I'll put the link in. And we'll pull cards and see what's going on now. But um, I said in that one that in, in the stars, something's going to happen and he may step down. Okay. That there's too much pressure and he may step down. So uh, I'll put that link in the description. And let's just go ahead and look and see. Let's do the Lenormand first and just see what we have. What can you tell me? is going to take place with King Charles. You know, now that thing did, did come up, the death card did come up in that reading, but you know, usually you don't say it's death, it's, it's a, some sort of a transition, but also something in the stars, it looks like, you know, something's coming up in his charts. Now, I don't do astrology, so we'd, you know, have to look with Hoagie and see what is in King Charles's chart coming up. So, just saying. So, the overview is, well, I don't know what... <clears throat> The woman has to do with it. Let, let, let's pull the other cards and see. Um, yeah, looking at what is under the surface. Okay. Uh, what's being eaten away. Foundation that's toxic. And then underneath of it all, we have the law. Um and just uh, perhaps also that could be the medical things that could be, um, yeah, with the stuff that this is very toxic, difficulty. Maybe one of his doctors is a woman. I don't know. Um, but it says, yes, it says if we take this and we put those together, she says this is kind of eating away. At him, his this difficulty with the cancer, <clears throat> whatever type it is. In the past, we have fishtails, you know, maybe some things. Um, now, I don't know, I don't think it's monetary. I think that the fishtails have to do something fishy, something that was a bit odd. And what's going on now, it has to do with his life, um, <clears throat> the fullness of his life, etc. Above it, we have this protection, short-term success, and underneath of it, going to create a new story, okay, moving this to create something new. So, <clears throat> something that when we put this together, the fish in his life, something there um, and protection and short-term success, uh, it, I think that all that has to do with the cancer stuff, okay? Um, and protecting the monarchy, etc. So the challenge is this is going to be a very difficult time for him. The Pearl of Great Price, when that comes up, that means that something is coming up that's very, very difficult um, to process. And the outcome has to do with it, you know, they usually that's my thing for the White House, but we'll say also the monarchy, um, <clears throat> rulership, who's in power. 
above it. Uh, going forward to the future. And ooh, underneath of it, the foundation is this is going to be a very tough wheel. It's the, I say that that's your contract, you know, and the, the difficulty of the rulership, the contract, and underneath of it all is for the future. Okay, light dawning on the future. <clears throat> so if we look at this, um, underneath of it all, we've got the law, the rules, the regulations, that whatever, and the storyline, how they need to do things for the future. Okay, what they need to create, what they're going to say for the future to move this forward. He's having this toxic, the cancer is toxic. He's had short-term success. The, this is the foundation, and he's got the tough wheel coming up. This is the crushing wheel um, of this toxicity that he's going to have to deal with. Okay, So he's going to have a very difficult time with this. Above it, underneath the surface, We've got protecting uh, things and then turn back on the past, going to the future, protection of the future with what's underneath of it all. Um, what's going on now recently and the challenges, this is going to be a very difficult point in his life, for his life in the past. We've had some things a bit fishy when it comes to the um, rulership, okay? Uh, and again, the overview, this this is kind of eating away at things. Um, so let's go ahead and pull the tarot and see what the tarot has to say. I'm going to pull these other ones as well just to see... See what we have with these. See if these are going to add anything to it. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what else can you tell us about King Charles and his cancer. <clears throat> What's going on with this with him? Mother Earth. Okay. Mother Earth. So this is what he's dealing with. You see it being held in the hands. This is something grounded coming in that he's going to have to deal with. Um, yeah. This is something when they see Mother Earth, it looks almost like what's being birthed, what's coming up um, for him. Forget peacekeeper, let go of needing to be right. Okay. Okay. Maybe trying to bring the um, kids back together again. Okay. Uh, again, this is going to be a challenge for him on many levels. And, yeah, he's very tied up with this mentally. Uh, he's in a constriction, in a restriction, okay? So this is going to be a time in his life, Mother Earth, um, you know, you come in, dust we are, and to dust we return, um, the physicality of form, feeling tied up, and he needs to make amends to everybody now. Um, yeah, it looks like this is a crucial part of his life, and it's really uh, going to shake him into some deep soul-searching is what that looks like. But let's see what else we have. Above it, yeah, who's holding on to the power when it comes to all of this? Ooh, yeah. Again, the death card is crossing this. 
okay? So he is really contemplating his mortality with this. He is, again, tied up, feeling tied up with this, restricted. We have the death card, so I would say he is contemplating his mortality. Now, this is not to say that he's not going to make it through the cancer. This is to say that this is serious enough that he is looking at, you know, his potential life and needs to make some amends, okay? That this is perhaps really rocking his world at the moment. Um, the foundation is who's being handed what, and underneath of it all, we have um, the sage advice. Again, it's about the, the country. It's about who's in power. It's about handing it off and it getting the ad advisory things of sage advice, okay? So, yeah. In the past, you know, he looked forward and was uh, moving, you know, um, perhaps looking at what he could do, what's going on now. Again, contemplating walking away, okay? That's what I got in my first reading, that he may abdicate for some reason. Um, now, you know, when you get other information, you look back and you see, you know, perhaps some things were a bit misinterpreted, but we'll have to see. Uh, above it, we've got, again, the family. Now, this came up in the other reading as well. This is the family unit um, and the grounded thing, I think it has to do with their, you know, uh, the rulership, is the succession. I mean, all of that stuff. Yeah, again, rulership, the family, the history, and underneath of it all, what's coming down that he's not liking having to deal with. And again, we have the monarchy. Instead of the White House, we have, you know, the monarchy, the, the rulership, who's next in line, the succession, looking at going forward. He may have to walk away. He may have to walk away from his point of rulership. Again, we're getting that. <clears throat> so challenges, justice, you know, just getting things aligned in the right way, the outcome is charging forward. This is um, the movement of this. Uh, yeah. Above it, we have this difficult time, a difficult time of this toxicity that he's dealing with, a sticky point. Oh, and again, the foundation is the rulership, justice, moving this forward, and um, again, <clears throat> underneath of it all, tempering, tempering this stuff, and we have the family again. <clears throat> so when we break this all down, let me look at it. If we were going to read the major arcana, we have the impending crisis, uh, a transition of ending something, something new, the advisory thing also could be your spiritual thing, all of that. Uh, when it comes to the rulership, um, because of this toxicity, now we're looking at the justice, you know, what's the right thing to do, and having to temper temper some of this. Um, again, he may have to abdicate if the, um, if the cancer is difficult enough that he cannot continue his duties, he may abdicate uh, the throne so that he can handle this. So, because we're looking at what is going to be handed off, okay? 
what's being handed off. This is the grounded things. This is the daily stuff. Okay. It's not always financial. This is the grounded things that are happening, having to hand it off to the family, the next in line, uh, because of the monarchy. Um, this is something that they have to look at. Uh, mentally, he is very much feeling tied up with this. You know, they have the, the rights of succession, etc. Um, and emotionally, he may have to walk away because of what is being presented. He may have to leave that above it. Um, we have the last thing to look at is the, the movement, the energetic thing. We have who's holding on to power, the kingship. This is going to be moving forward when it comes to the monarchy. Okay. I can't say White House, the monarchy. Okay. Now, if we read this the other way, again, because he's feeling tied up, there is going to be a transition, an ending of something, an ending because he is just... Maybe he is going to be so caught up with the treatment that he can no longer function well as king. So we have underneath of it all that looking at the higher presentations of uh, what's being uh, coming down that he's not wanting to deal with and having to temper it. Uh, the, the position of authority, okay? Uh, that's why I say maybe he's feeling that he cannot deal with it. We have the handing off of the seat of power when it comes to the monarchy, okay? Um, above it, we have holding on that position of power and the family and this toxic thing that's coming up that he is kind of uh, chained by at the moment, <clears throat> which would be the cancer thing. It's not something that he can just brush off, okay? So we have that going on. What's going on now? The challenge is justice and maybe walking away, having to walk away. And we have... You know, in the past, he was looking forward, but now we've got this um, outcome of charging forward. This is moving forward. It's, again, not something that you can just ignore. This is something that um, it looks like it may get serious very rapidly, and he is seeing his time on Earth you know, he's really looking at his mortality is what it looks like. Needs to mend face, fences at this point um, because this is something he just can't walk away from. Uh, this is something he's got to deal with. And uh, it looks to be pretty serious, okay? Um, yeah. So again, looking at this and looking at the reading that I did when he first came into office, he may abdicate the throne and walk away and William is the next in succession. Okay, what do you think? Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you online and the link to the uh reading that I did when he came into power, uh, took over the throne. Uh, the link is in the description if you want to see that reading. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you online.